Improv Festival Sunday Evening Virtual Theater. I'm Nikki Mansing, and we have three sets for you tonight. Um, I It's a cold night in the outskirts of Boston. I got to tell you, it's less than 20 degrees, so I'm dressed like in a blanket tonight. It's one of those wearable blankets, so if you see it, that's what it is. It's a blanket. Um, so tonight, we have three, three teams performing. We have Menage Duo, who has been here before, and we welcome them back. And we have Ricky, which is a duo with uh, Rick Horner and me, so Rick and Ricky. And then we have uh, Raman and Sunday, who has a usual slot this particular Sunday. So, without further ado, let's welcome oh, Menage Duo. Good evening. Did, did you notice the similarity between Further Ado and Menage Duo? So, in case, just if you haven't woken up yet. Uh, I'm David. He's Michael. We are Menage hey, Duo. We've been playing together like this for many months. We're having a great time. And we're also exploring, very curious about the intersection between artificial intelligence technology, and art. So imagine a time when you walk into your home and your home's camera and facial recognition system notices that you are stressed out. And it goes, dang, hey, when Margaret is stressed out, I know that she likes to hear the modern jazz quartet. And it automatically brings a modern jazz quartet track up to help modulate your mood. That's a real simple version of how artificial intelligence, which your phone and camera will uh, know about, may well manifest in your life in the near future. So we've invited some folks uh, earlier. We've given them some phrases, some keywords, um, and periodically we'll stop the show and get a phrase from them and that will be used to inform what we do next. So with that in mind, that's why you'll see us pause periodically um, to get that information. With that in my mind, Michael, would you like to get the first suggestion to get us started? I would like that very much. We have an audio. I'm having just a tiny little problem here. Can you hear or no hear? You can hear. Yeah. Fantastic. That's all we need. So, would you ever kindly, please, in a chat, give us a suggestion to get us started? Any suggestion will we'll do. Um, we have from Kelly a suggestion of hi. Say it again, I'm sorry. Hi. The suggestion is hi. Hi. Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. I'm feeling down and out. Completely down and completely out. Mm. You look it. No, no, not completely. Just I'm oh. feeling down and out. On a scale of one to ten, I'm a, you know, two and a half. Two and a half? Oh. You can... You can do it with two and a half. If you're nine and a half, or two and a half, we can work with two and a half. Look. You, you're ignoring my feelings again. That's part of my down and out. Even I promised I would never ignore your feelings again. You 
accuse me of ignoring your feelings. Minimize it. Minimizing, but not ignoring. Minimizing someone who is down and out, me, is not nurturing at all. In my experience, in my small, narrowly banded, minuscule, not very interesting experience. I try to lift you up and it always comes out sideways. Mm. My intentions are good. Well, one of the reasons I've been with you this long is, is that you're so you're so consistent. Well intentioned. And, and predictably doing the same thing again and again, ad nauseum, repetitium. Did I mention the nauseum? Repetitium. It's, 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 it's a big reason why I stay with you. Minimizing. That was not a compliment. That was a criticism. Okay. I can take it. I've been with you long enough. I, I, I feel so much better. You... You're paying attention to me. You're hearing me. This is really, this is elevating. No, this is really you, like, this is. You see? I, I, this, wow. That was. I hear you. After all these years, I hear you. It's funny, you, I kind of like it that you're not consistent. It sort of gives me something to like, be curious about, like what's happening next? Can't wait to find out. Dance? Celebration, cause for celebration. What if we go out? I, I like the idea of you dancing. Would you dance to me, please? <laughs> yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Why? No, we're not going to do YMCA. I'm absolutely, I hate that song. You know that. Please don't make me do that. You like it when I look like a fall and make a of myself. You get a kick out of it. Well, I, I, I do, but 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 it, it's only because you do it so well that it gets people to overlook what, what I'm doing. And that, you know, like you're my camouflage. Sammy, what are you camouflaging, Sammy, now? What are you, what, what is it? You're ashamed of me? You don't trust me? You don't trust me. Mark, if it's camouflage, it's because it's not time for you to know. You know, but you don't want me to know. You want me to read your mind? I don't read minds. No. I'm sorry. No. If I wanted you to know, I would tell you. Not helping, not helping Sam at all. No, nope, 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 nope. Not even close. Not even close here. Hmm. This... Your, your lack of consistency, this shifting away from consistency is really it's really endearing. A little mystery. 
in a relationship is good. It's a good thing. Yeah. So I'm but, camouflaging but no, stuff. Exactly what you said. I'm mm -hmm. camouflaging stuff. You want to endear yourself to me a little more. You're already favorite. Favorite. So we're gonna stop here. We're gonna stop here and get get our suggestion. Okay. So uh, Rob, are you out there? If you are, type your name into chat, please. Let Michael know you're there. Michael, you take get the get. I am on it, and I am waiting for Rob to come through, keeping an eye on that chat. Kelly's indicating video troubles. I think we're yeah, past them. I saw a little freezing feed. That's Facebook issue. Um, we have, Rob is not there, but we do have something from David. Okay, let's take David. Okay. Greet a part of the process of creating a social structure. Greed to be a part of the process, process. of creating a social structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I so want your life. A lot of people do. A lot of people do get in line. Yeah, you know, Tony, you, 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 you've gone to pinnacles. You, you're like the the par excellence, when you look it up in the dictionary, I want your life. Work as hard as I do. Go through the shit I went through. You can have it. It's yours. Tony. I want it so much and I'm really not into working. Oh, I know that. So I, I'm working on a way to have your life. You always do yep. having, but not working. Yeah. That's you, Steven, to a T. Stephen with a T, not a PH, with a T. Having the life, not working for it. All your life. The, the things, I mean, you got the house, okay? Yep. You got the wife. Yep. You got the mistress. You got the kids. You got the cars. What else? You got the 501C3. You got the IRA. The IRS, the LSD. You, we don't go there. Yes, you're right. I need to know about that. Plus the boat. Plus the summer house in Florida. And a share in a bombardier. You know, now that you mentioned the summer house in Florida, I wonder... Why would anybody want to be in Florida in the summer? Maybe, maybe you're really not someone to be so envious of. Maybe there's some flaws in your plan. Maybe. To thrive in the heat. And you know that, but you forgot. I don't know. If, if being successful means having a house in Florida where it's hotter than fuck during the summer. Like, that, that's like, like, oh, 
I want to be in Maine in the winter because it's cold. It's cold. Get away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're different. He stimulates me here and there. You Most productive months I have, June, July, August. Wait, 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 wait. So there, you mean like, like you eat more when it's hot and you get fat? Go lower. I don't eat as much when I'm sweating. I lose weight there. See, you didn't know that. Sweat it out. I, mm -hmm. Go lower. Mm -hmm. Go like, like your, your knees start, start you know slipping and and sliding and gliding around because because it's so hot and you just can't steven you're not that dense you know exactly what i'm talking about marcia comes back with me from florida in september 12 pounds lighter every year figure it out catch on you eat for two, she loses weight. I got it. It's so simple. <laughs> this is really, I don't know, maybe, yeah, like, you know, being, being like you doesn't have as much appeal as it once did. Now that I see your flaws. What you call flaws, I call profit centers. Pale, profit center. Pataro, profit center. But you're entitled to your opinion. No, no. I, I love learning about magical thinking. You're the embodiment of it. Lots and lots of sweating. Blood pressure goes up, more blood flows to the brain. Boom, ideas come. I am not as stupid as you think I am. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I, I would never say to your face how stupid I think you are. And I've done a great job of hiding that for a long time, okay? Camouflaging, yeah. yeah. And, and I, yeah, and I hid it from myself, which made me think that I want to be like you, but magical you thinking. Mm -hmm. You don't want to work like me and you don't want to sweat like me. You just want to have the plain chair in a bombardier. My wife, my car, zzz. four, I got four now. And a 401k and my 501c3 that I used to help children. You want it all. Greedy little bastard. Lazy, greedy little bastard. I am, but my stress levels are low. I can just kind of chill here in the mountain chalet in Maine with the snow in the background and just enjoy la vida loca uh-huh and what's your plan for creating a new social structure out of that style of living no heat no sweat cold chalet what is the plan you ain't got one yep i'm happy to not be burdened with needing to figure it out You don't want my life. You don't want my toys. You don't want my wife. You want snow. In a chalet. In Maine. Sad. You know me really well. Do now. Not doing much of camouflaging anymore, I am. Uh -huh. I want your life. You don't want my life. No, no. You see? Not now. Thank you for helping me get to this point of discovery, self-actualization, and awareness. You're welcome. 
And with that, we're going back because guess who came through with a sentence to inspire our last set, Robert. And Robert's sentence is hopeful for this morning and we'll see if we need anything for the weekend. Did you get all that? Hopeful, hopeful for, this morning, for this morning and we'll see if we need we'll anything for the weekend. For the weekend. That's not too hopeful. What is going on? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You look terrible. Ralphie. I'm, yeah? I'm incognito. Oh. Again? In. Was working. I'm trying to hide my lust. So for that last smirk, it's working. Looking like that. Best contraceptive ever. You, you'd never think that I was a lustful soul, would you? No, I wouldn't. Good. Weird? Yes, lustful. No, not at all. Good. I don't want anyone to know the depths of my desires. All right, now you're just freaking me out because you sound like an emperor on Star Wars, except like a lustful porno version of it. But you're doing a good job. Are you fucking with me again? Or is this like for real? Wow. The possibilities are non denumerably many. What if, no, you hide it so well. Thank you very much. Knowing as well as I do, my brain went in a completely different direction here. And yet, you're trying to hide one of the seven deadly sins. Damn. somehow yes makes me yes feel ah uh, good good you have feelings <laughs> that i am the object of this inferno perhaps 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 you are my lust is indiscriminate, promiscuous, and yet to be fully realized. Ah. 
I welcome that honesty. It excites me. I'm not scared. I am not turned off. That mm -hmm. level, that fiery passion is something I've never seen before, especially in you. Stay tuned for the final installment of Lust Takes a Holiday. one-day holiday or a weekend-long holiday. Don't toy with me now. The possibilities are non-enumerably many. Thank you, ladies and friends. That was about as much lust as I can handle in a five minute period of time. <laughs> so much, okay? Good night. Thanks, Mickey. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, David. Thank you, Mikash. They'll be back again next month. Hopefully. We will be. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, you all. Appreciate it. And we are coming up on the next act, which is going to be a premiere. Hang on, we'll be here in about five minutes. The name of the group is Ricky. Little R, little I, little K, little I. It is a conjunction. Bye-bye. See you in a couple.